नमस्कार टुडे विल स्टडी द मेकानिजम ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ साइक्लोस्पोरिन टैक्रोलिमस एंड सिरोलिमस सिरोलिमस इज आल्सो नोन एज द अनदर ड्रग रैपामाइसिन सिरोलिमस और रैपामाइसिन सो ऑल ऑफ देम दे इनहिबिट आइदर इंटरल्यूकिन प्रोडक्शन और इंटरल्यूकिन एक्शन एंड इंटरल्यूकिन 2 mainly they uh, they inhibit the interleukin 2 production or action and uh, they inhibit the lymphocyte uh, signaling and the t lymphocytes have a role in you know, role in specific response so there are three lines of defense in our body the first one is the physical barriers like skin mucous membrane body fluids etc then if that is not enough then we will have the non specific response which includes the vascular events and cellular events when that is not enough we have the specific response or acquired immunity and uh, the specific response involves the uh, t lymphocytes where uh, the first the antigen is uh, uh, expressed in the form of major histone compatibility complex and that will be recognized by the t lymphocytes uh, who is uh, who are having uh, on their uh, surface cluster of differentiation or cd so there will be interaction between the msc and cd msc1 uh, interacts with cd8 msc2 interacts with cd4 and when there is msc2 cd4 interaction there will be either humoral immunity or cellular immunity humoral immunity occurs through antibodies cellular immunity occurs through the cytokines and when there is interaction between msc1 and cd8 t lymphocytes they, there will be formation of cytotoxic t cells which will uh, which will kill the infected cell so here we can see when there is msc2 and cd4 interaction there is production of interleukin 2 which will again act on the same cd4 uh, t cells so they, they, it is called autocrine action of this interleukin 2 the cells which release interleukin 2 uh, the same cells will be again targets for the interleukin 2 so there will be proliferation of these cells differentiation of these cells into t helper not cells followed by t helper 2 cells t helper 1 cells so <coughs> t helper 2 cells uh, 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 are formed when there is uh, autocrine action of interleukin 4 whereas interleukin 2 autocrine action project produces t helper 1 cells similarly there will be t helper 17 cells regulatory t cells so you can see that interleukin 2 plays a major role uh, in the specific immune response and uh, this interleukin 2 action and uh, production both are inhibited by these drugs like cyclosporine tacrolimus and sirolimus all these are used as immunosuppressants so when there is interaction between the msc2 and cd4 of t lymphocytes msc2 on the surface of antigen presenting cell intracellular calcium increases which uh, this calcium binds to calmodulin calcium calmodulin complex then activates the calcineurin and this calcineurin activates the octamer activating protein or a uh, nuclear factor for activated t cells the cytosolic component of the nfat and the nuclear component of the nfat together will induce the cytokine genes octamer activating protein uh, uh, produces the transcription factors which activates the, uh, or induces the cytokine genes so gene transcription leads to formation of the messenger rna of interleukin 2 then that will produce the interleukin 2 and this interleukin 2 uh, uh, once it is released from these t lymphocytes they will again act on the same t lymphocytes and uh, the interleukin 2 acts on the interleukin 2 receptor so there will be activation of cdk cyclin dependent kinases so which will progress the cell cycle from g1 to s phase so there will be t cell proliferation so interleukin 2 has a role in the t cell proliferation mammalian target of rapamycin activates the cdk so drugs like uh, cyclosporine tacrolimus and sirolimus inhibits uh, this pathway so there are in two intracytosolic inter protein cyclophilin and fkbp12 fkbp it is called fkbp fk binding protein because 
Takurin Mosh was initially known as FK506. So, cyclophilin and FKBP, these are two different proteins which inhibit calcineurin. So, then uh, calcineurin mediated interleukin 2 generation is inhibited by cyclophilin and FKBP. Cyclosporin is a drug which activates cyclophilin and uh, then it inhibits calcineurin. Tacrolimus is a drug which uh, binds to FKBP and then inhibits calcineurin. Sirolimus also uh, binds to FKBP, but uh, this Sirolimus FKBP complex inhibits mammalian target of rapamycin and uh, in this way is it uh, inhibits the interleukin 2 action. Uh, uh, which helps in the T-cell proliferation. So in this way, cyclosporin, tacrolimus and sirolimus uh, 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 inhibit interleukin-2 uh, gener generation and uh, 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 interleukin-2 action. So, <coughs> cyclosporin and tacrolimus uh, by inhibiting calcineurin inhibit interleukin-2 generation. Sirolimus by, uh, by binding to FKBP inhibits mammalian target of rapamycin and inhibit the interleukin 2 signaling or uh, action. So, all these drugs are uh, used as immunosuppressants and they can be used uh, in organ transplantation, bone marrow trans transplantation, and uh, autoimmune uh, diseases. And the severe inflammatory bowel disease, severe skin disease like atopy eczema, uh, plaque psoriasis, and uh, in it they can also be used in arthritis and related disorders. So this is all about the uh, drugs cyclosporin, tacrolimus, and sirolimus. Thank you.